everybody, welcome. Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. Here's something I've never done before and I may not ever do it again. We're going to do an unboxing. I have from here just arrived some of the latest pinged golf equipment, but I wonder what it is. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. So, on opening the box, the first thing we get here is a note from Ping. It says, do not display or sell until the 1st of November. Please remember that no beep beep product may be displayed on the retail floor unless prior to consumer availability date. Um, so there we go. So whatever's in here, I can't sell till tomorrow. Uh, but I can let you have a little look at it. So, let's get this box open, shall we? Whoa, love opening boxes, like Christmas. There's a few of them. Let's have a little peek. Let's see if we get the right end. Let's go with this box first and see what's in here. Any ideas? New woods? Ooh. Definitely not new woods. They only do out for a little while, I believe. Um, new irons? No, nope. we've had new irons. It's putters. Yeah, I knew you guessed it. There's loads of videos out there already on these putters. Um, some guys uh, get access to products a little bit e earlier than I do. I'm in conversation with Ping at the moment and I'm hoping that in future I'll get the product a little bit earlier so I can post reviews um, before it hits the market. So what we've got here are the new Ping Sigma 2 putters and I've got a whole bunch of them. I think I've got eight different models in here. I'm um, not going to do reviews on all of them but whichever this one is we're going to have a look at this one first. So what have I got here? I have got here, the first one out of the box is the Sigma 2 Tyne Putter. So I've actually seen this one, the rep brought them round uh, a couple of weeks ago and I've seen this one in action. It's a great looking putter and the, the story, I'll do some more in depth reviews on, on the inserts and how the Sigma 2 differs but the main thing that works here is the adjustability. So very, very, very clever system that Ping have come up with and kind of beat everyone to the race. Um, we, can we can adjust the putter of this down, the length down to 32 inches and take it all the way up to 36 inches. And the way we do that is with this little adjusting tool here, which basically goes into the top of the putter, like so. So we stick that in the top of the putter okay and you basically just twist it so to add length i twist this way and you'll probably be able to see as i twist can you see the putter's getting longer so i can make that 35 inches i can make it 34 inches i can go the other way and you'll see that the putter's getting shorter absolutely genius idea from Ping. Remember that they had an adjustable length putter before, but it was really fiddly. You used to have to put the key in and it twisted the opposite way to what you think it did. Um, so it snapped a lot of the times if you tighten it the wrong way. It was also really difficult to get the grip back on straight, whereas this is as simple as that. You just twist this key to make it shorter or longer. Absolute genius, love it. So that's the time that's come out. This is going to be a really big seller. Shall we dip in and uh, grab a couple more? Okay, what have we got here? Let me cover off. Ah, this one's the Cushing C. Cushing C, this one, centre shafted putter. Interesting. You don't get many centre shafted putters around these days. Looks kind of nice, like that one. Let's go for another one. Here, another mallet. Um, so within this range, and we'll maybe flash up some pictures. I think there are five mallets in this in this range. Oh, the Wolverine, the Wolverine H we've got here, um, which basically looks a little bit like the crazy with the with the ball at the back, the man on the motorbike style. Uh, big mallet. Um, that one is slight arc biased putter. There's one in here I'm really looking forward to showing you. hope I can find it. Look what this one is. This one is 
not the one I was after. This is a brand new one called the Valor. This is a really big mallet putter. Uh, I'd imagine this has a very high MOI, moment of inertia, resistance to twisting. About 355 grams, I think, in weight, this one. Never had a go with this before. Looks beautiful, looks really well balanced. Let me find the one which I really want to show you. So I'm going to open this box in my own time and I'll dig out the one that I want you to see. Okay, I've opened the second box. This is the one I really wanted to show you. This one is uh, called the Fetch, and you'll see why it's called Fetch in a minute. Give you a little close-up of it. You can see it's a mallet. It's got a big hole in the bottom. Okay, and this one is suited to a straight batten through putting stroke. Here's the ingenious thing. Okay, falls down on the ground. Pop the putter down on there gets the ball, picks the ball up, which is quite clever, isn't it? Uh, but the other thing, now I'm not quite sure this is going to go down well with the green keepers out there watching, ball's in the hole, this putter actually fits in the hole, okay, and you can, if the ball's sitting in the middle of the hole, which it normally does, put your putter into the hole and get it out. Now, I'm not that sure, As a, I used to be a green keeper years ago, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with people sticking the putter into the hole, catching the edge. I don't think that's going to go down particularly well at all the golf courses. Um, we will see. But very ingenious idea to be able to just plonk the putter down on top there and pick it up. This one, again, loving the mallets putters here. We can adjust the length of these. Um, I'm going to do some full reviews on a couple of the putters, but the immediate thing which I notice of all these Sigmas is just how soft this insert is. I still think they're using this material called p which they used in some of the other putters, um, and it really does feel quite springy off the face. So we'll get busy unboxing these, we'll get them all on the display stand, get them priced up. Price-wise in the UK, and um, these are going to be working out at around about £199, I think will be the price mark on these putters. Maybe a little bit cheaper, 189 199 So they're pretty premium, but with this ingenious adjustability in the shaft, it means guys like me can get these fitted in. You know, so if you're coming to buy a putter, we can decide on what style you want, and then we can really get the length of the putter dialed in to how you putt, you know, shorter, longer, great to have that adjustability as a fitter. So there we go, a sneaky peeky at the new Ping Sigma 2 ranges. Stay tuned for a few in-depth reviews on a few various models, but great to see. I think Ping are really on top of their hardware at the moment, and they're in a good place, Ping. They're my favourite company to work with. Um, so there we go, thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe button, there we go, I can say it, well done, um, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button, keep tuned, stay tuned, all the best, bye for now.